HALS is an early intervention program for students approximately ages three to five, and they have some sort of delay in an area, not necessarily all areas, but some areas, and need some sort of support. And we give them a head start to get ready for kindergarten. We're trying to get in early with these kiddos. They benefit so much from that early intervention. And our program, we have the kids come to us and then we build a plan surrounding them, surrounding their families, surrounding their needs. So when our kiddos come in in the morning, there's not necessarily a script of the day. We have a schedule that we follow, but then within those areas of the day, there's a lot of freedom for them to have choice and move around. And our job is to be responsive and to see where those interests lie and then come in and meet them where they are. And that's how we get the most engagement out of them. And that's how we get those breakthroughs and those exciting moments. We're so fortunate to have such a large team here to support each of the children so that learning is happening here every day. Uh, lots of collaboration happens amongst all of the PALS classrooms. In the district, all of the PALS teachers collaborate together and then each classroom has such a large team working within that classroom to help support each child. The teacher that kind of works as the central case manager for everyone and then we have the EAs that are in our classroom every day working to support kiddos on an individualized basis. We have speech language pathologists. We also have occupational therapists that work with us. We also have a physical therapist that we work with. And we have a family support worker full time, which is something that's really special about our program. She works very closely with families to help support them with accessing supports in the community. We're one piece at the school, but these kiddos also go home at the end of the day, and moms and dads need support there as well. ISPs, or instructional support plans, are the main document for each child in the program, and they're completely individualized. We spend the first two months of school generally gathering information on kiddos, and then at the end of that initial getting to know you time, we sit with the team, we sit with parents, and we come up with an idea for a plan for their year. And so what we do with parents and with the team is determine what area might be a priority for them. For example, we might choose a language goal or a fine motor or a gross motor goal, build it into one doc document, prioritize those goals, and make a plan for the year and help them achieve it. We're going back to these documents on a daily basis um, and using them to inform our programming, inform our planning, and inform our interactions with the kiddos as well. The idea behind play-based learning is that that's the natural way that children learn. That's their natural mode of learning. The way that we work in the PALS program is to harness that intrinsic love of play, that intrinsic love of exploring and discovery, and then use that intrinsic love to help our kiddos to build skills in specific areas. So we are working on our students' speech development through play, their social skills and interactions, often then that can involve problem solving with other peers and how to interact with others. Um, we can work on fine motor goals through play as well. It's something that they enjoy. It's very student driven in their interests, but we can work on so many different areas through our play-based learning. In order to make a language-rich environment, we have themes, and the themes are very, very motivating to the students. So if we were learning about a farm, for example, we would be reading books that have that vocabulary, our centers would have that vocabulary, so they're getting lots of language throughout the centers. And we also focus on core vocabulary, which is those keywords that you use a million times a day. So we are consistently modeling, you know, proper grammar and pronunciation of words, or um, using lots of visuals. We have visuals up all over our rooms so that the students can um, see that, you know, the print has meaning. We have core vocabulary that we're working on in our classrooms, and so we can focus on that in any aspect of of our day so that the students can build that core vocabulary that will help them be able to express themselves. With the little guys that we're working with, the primary focus is building that relationship, building that sense of safety, that sense of community, that sense that I belong, that I'm cared for, that I matter. 
That's, I think, our, our central goal, and then everything springs from there.